No time to play, doll. Case is heating up and I gotta get the latest to Morgan. Morgan, don't you mean Stone Cold? Did Jason and Sam make an important announcement this morning? I wouldn't know. I was out all night on a stakeout, keeping my eyes in the gutter. I thought it was a bakery. Well, vermin breed vermin, doll. They all end up in the same place. <laughs> Is that what you think it is? Yeah, keep your flappers off the cupcakes, cupcake. These are evidence now. Evidence? See, Morgan was on to something. Lucetta's Bakery is a hotbed of illegal activity. It's the perfect cover. Suspicious people coming and going. Really? Yeah. Tell me. Well, I don't know. People disguised as housewives and delivery guys. You know, it'd fool anyone who wasn't a trained peeper. Well, you must have some way of keeping track of all of them. I mean, like noticing something, a specific trait, and then creating a nickname for them? I don't follow. Like, for example, if you were to see someone who's kind of big and mean looking, you might call him the hostile one, the evildoer, stone cold. <laughs> okay, um, think of some of the people that you saw today, and then tell me the first thing that pops into your head. Big ears, hairy ears. Freely associate more. Like, the first thing that pops in your head. Go! Sugar lips. Maximista. Hmm. Okay. You know, why don't we try the evidence? Because they, they look delicious and ordinary to me. Yeah, sure, to the untrained eye. You know, you develop an instinct. You learn to trust your gut. You know that feeling when pieces just start falling into place? And you just know something? It all becomes clear. I wish. Innocuous baked goods. It's the perfect cover to move contraband without raising suspicion. I'm on this case like red on a rose. Well, I have to say I feel a lot better knowing you're on this case. <laughs> One problemo was the cops. Whatever I'm getting close to, it's making them sweat. Really? What happened? Well, you know, the usual strong-arm tactics. Move along from the surveillance spot and we'll ticket you for loitering. Well, you can't just walk away from this case. I mean, Jason gave this to you. He's counting on you. There, there has to be some way that you could set up, like, a security camera outside the bakery so you can have surveillance and watch from here. Gams and brains. It's a dangerous combo, but I told you, this ain't my game. But the whole city is counting on you to keep the streets clean from contraband. Well, I, I'm counting on you. Can't you at least try? Well, when you put it like that... Double click. Double click. Go ahead, say it with me so you get the rhythm. Too fast, too slow? You're giving me whiplash, doll. Okay, but you're doing you're doing really good. It's kind of like second nature, right? Fatal error. Is this thing gonna blow? Oh man. I am in a committed relationship and you are taking advantage. I told you before, a guy's gotta follow his gut. Matt, hey, hi, hi. We were just on the computer. She was trying to get me in rhythm. Uh, I was hoping it would jog something. Okay, yeah, look, I'm just here to throw myself at your mercy. What did you do? You been stepping out on her? It's Robin. She's been acting chief of staff for only a week right now, and she is driving us all crazy. You have to talk some sense into her. Oh, skip the soft soap and go for the jugular. Dig up some dirt in the dame and blackmail her into submission. Robin is a brilliant doctor. She is a great mother, she's honest, and the hardest worker that I know. The cleaner they look on the outside, the dirtier the secrets they got to hide. There's nothing to dig up. Don't waste the sure way to get this dame in line. Matt is not interested. Tell him. I'm thinking, well, I'm jammed up right now, but I can make some room in my schedule for the usual two for an hour plus expenses. And I'll need a little extra time with you, doll. Stop calling me that. Stop threatening to dig stuff up on my cousin and stop asking like this. And there's no need to be digging. I, I was just joking. He wasn't. Okay, look, I just need to talk to Robin. As her cousin, gently suggest to her to take up needlepoint or mountain climbing. It doesn't matter. Anything to prevent her from re-regulating the entire hospital. Oh, so you want me to suggest that she be barefoot and hang out in the kitchen? Well, there you go. I'm not being sexist. Okay. Robin is shaking things up over there, and I happen to think it's great. So no, I will not undercut her. <sighs> okay, all right, well, can't blame a guy for trying. What's going on in this box anyway? Because this looks awesome. No, no, no that's, that's evidence. evidence. Where's Mac? 
Hey, uh, he's at a power lunch with the mayor. Can I help you? I'd like to file a complaint. Okay. Go for it. Two resident crime families in this city, people shooting at each other, blowing things up on a regular basis, and your officers have nothing better to do than ticket a guy for loitering outside of a bakery? Just tell me the complaint, Maxie. Spinelli isn't Spinelli. I mean, after he was shot, he woke up convinced he was Jack O.P.I. Tough guy from the mean streets. You know, Matt says it's a defense mechanism that'll eventually pass if we can keep him alive long enough. Spinelli actually thinks he's the character from his book? He doesn't know how to use a computer. He's not talking like Spinelli, he's not acting like Spinelli, he's not kissing like... Anyway, Jason has him convinced that this bakery on first is a hotbed for criminal activity, so he's got Spinelli staking it out just to keep him out of trouble. Except one of your overzealous meatheads ticketed him for loitering. I'll pass on the message. Thank you. Me. Maybe you could also convince this person to, I don't know, work with Jackal P.I. so they can convince him he's actually really a part of big crime. Uh, that's not a good idea. Besides, I just started work today. Mac put me on a case. I gotta get over to the hospital and start interviewing people. Like Elizabeth? I married Maxine. I know. You're also too nice of a guy to dump Siobhan right after she's had surgery. But I'm sure it's clear to even her that you and Elizabeth are destined to be together. Didn't I tell you that these cupcakes are to die for? What are you doing? What I told you, they're evidence. You know, if you bite down on something out of the ordinary, clue me in. I was... The contraband must be in here somewhere. I was sure they were moving it in the chunk of dream. Who was moving what exactly? Well, that's what Jack will be on. He's on the case to ascertain, and I will, after a slight detour back to the drawing board. I'm thinking coconut blizzards. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a dozen of them. No, you can't go back to the bakery. Why? It's my surveillance detail. Um, you were ticketed for loitering. You don't want to get arrested, do you? Faking off the flash is part of the deal, at all. Daring do is what makes Jack O'Brien such a force to be reckoned with. In all kinds of situations. Besides, I gave Morgan my word, and my word is my bond. Why don't you try the computer again? <clears throat> Jack Lim, a call. Look, don't blow a gasket. Here, uh, speak to my secretary, Maxine. She'll know what to do. Whoa. Jackal P.I. Secretary Maxine, how may I help you? 